In this video, I'm showing you my favorite types of journals. This is the type of journaling that I love most, which is what I call art journaling. Um, and uh, I use a lot of mixed media techniques, so I use a lot of collage, paint, stamps, stickers and all that kind of things. And the, the, the reason why I'm doing it is because, well, I think it's just uh, a really fun thing to do. But I also need it. It's, it's, uh, I can really express myself uh, in here and it's, it's very visual, but it's also very personal. Uh, I don't mind showing it to you, but the pages that you're looking at right now are really, uh, to me, like um, a diary. And not so much a diary in which I write, Dear Diary, today I went swimming. But to me it's about emotions, feelings. It's not that I see that, oh, this is the 1st of April and I felt um, weird. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's just something that that flows out of me naturally. That, that uh, The colors, the, the shapes. I really need this. I, I just need to create things like this. This is to me art journaling and I have many art journals. I work in lots of different books at the same time. But there are also a few other types of journaling that I do that I want to share with you. First off, I have this uh, small books. I have a lot of them. I have even more than those four. I call them losse flodders, uh, which is Dutch for blanks, uh, as in uh, harmless bullets uh, that uh, you can shoot to practice without harming anyone. And uh, I call them losse flodders or blanks because it's just like shooting ideas, but then really mindlessly without thinking. It could be inspired by an image that I see, but also just some some doodling. Uh, and I often use these um, really regular big ball points, often in black uh, and red, also sometimes blue. I, I just really love the lines that pens like this give. And I also always have a couple of those books lying around so that I can do some sketching. Uh, I really love to to uh, to do that. And then, uh, well, these are <laughs> all my square art journals. Uh, then I also have um, uh, a bullet journal. I'm not going to really show you the inside because it's really private. This is where I do all my planning for. Uh, for my family and for business, so there are business goals, but also appointments, and it's let's see if I can show you an old page, um, well something like this. Uh, as you can see, um, it's it's really a way to to stay organized. I've been bullet journaling for about two years now, and on the internet I see many very pretty uh, bullet journals and sometimes I'm doing a little bit of lettering but to me this is really um, um, a system to stay organized so that's nothing pretty at all and then I also uh, have uh, more an, uh, a diary agenda type of journal um, and then uh, last year I purchased uh, this um, travel journal with an insert but I'm not using it because the paper is too too thin so um, I actually because the the bullet journals and the planners are so popular at the moment uh, I, I wanted to figure out a way how I could still use my bullet journal combined with my art journal and then the the blank uh, idea books the Los of Flodos books <laughs> and then I figured out that I have um, sort of designed a new system for that that I, that I call 
Jotter Journal. And Jotter Journal is um, a Jotter Journal is a book that you can insert uh, in your planners or with your bullet journal, and um, um, you can just jot ideas like I do in these books but you can also use paint and in this case it's it's empty but you can also use old um, work uh, for example backgrounds that you've made with a jelly plate which is uh, a printing plate um, uh, I will show you probably in one of the next videos but uh, Jotter Journal is a sort of um, a system that I designed especially for all those creative people out there who want to get more creative and get more in that creative habit and then combine the art journal with the sketchbook and the bullet journal and the, the, the planner art into one little book that you can uh, jot in your bag and then jot some paint or stickers or ideas or lettering or whatever you want uh, tickets, fun papers so um, I don't have an example yet in this video but I'm going to show you uh, a lot more ideas for these type, this type of journaling in the next uh, uh, videos in this series so uh, in, in this um, journal uh, our journal TV series uh, I want to mainly uh, use the art journal and the jotter journal type of journals and show you how you can combine all those types of journaling into your into your life actually to to be more creative thank you so much for watching if you like this video please be sure to don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more fun and inspiring original tv videos <laughs>